I have a bunch of rocks. Nope, they're not really officially rocks. I'll give you a little hint. We got Frankfurt green, and on the right side we have what they call Leland blue. They appear in a variety of sizes and shapes. It turns out that the Leland blue and the Frankfurt green and similar stones and shades of green, gray, purple, blue are all the same thing. They're remnants of iron or smelting and pop up in places where the slag was disposed of. Slag is a byproduct of smelting ores and recycled metals. Slag is mainly a mixture of metal oxides and silicon dioxide. In nature, iron, copper, lead, nickel, and other metals are found in impure states called ores, often oxidized and mixed in with silicates of other metals. During the smelting, when the ore is exposed to high temperatures, these impurities are separated from the molten metal and can be removed. In many smelt smelting processes, oxides are introduced to control the slag chemistry, assisting in the removal of impurities and protecting the furnace lining from excessive wear. I have been collecting the blue, beautiful blue slate glass, the green slate glass. Sometimes I find purple. Sometimes the blue and green are mixed together. Here we have the bluish gray in white, more of a uh, kind of like an agate look on this side. I just dipped this in that little pail of water right there, a little container of water, so I can show you how beautiful some of these are. I mean, they're just amazing. Some are already like shiny, sparkly, and some are kind of dull. But look at all these. Um, it looks like waterline agate. When I first started finding these, I will admit I thought I was finding agates until I learned what slate glass was and um i don't know i've been hooked on it ever since i've just been collecting this stuff for i don't know seven eight years now you can see it's kind of purplish on the top of this one um i found big huge monster pieces like a foot wide um some are not as pretty as others some are absolutely amazing I just love it when they're all swirly like this. Sometimes they're just solid. A solid blue, gray, purple, green. And sometimes they're shiny. Sometimes they're almost clear. You can see through them. And they're, if they're thin, they are sharp. They're sharp like glass. You have to be careful. But most of the ones I found were already like rumbling around in the water. I uh, found them along lakes and rivers and you name it. Uh, I think I found, well, no, that's not true. I found them in Michigan and Wisconsin. And I just, I don't know, I just love them. As you can see, they're beautiful. I've made jewelry out of these. I've tumbled these. Um, I just have a lot. What I'm showing you right now is just a fraction of what I have and there's kind of purpley as you see in that bottom was a little bit purpley i found solid purple oh yes and i did find one red one <laughs> only one red one out of this uh, about seven years of collecting slag glass now in leland michigan which is uh, lower michigan they find more of the solid kind of turquoisey blue and they call it Leland Blue. I found a lot of those. I have probably three coffee cans full of those. And uh, the green ones, they call them Frankfurt Green. And that's because I guess they were found in Frankfurt, Michigan. And that's how they uh, got their name. But like I said, they're all from the, they're all from smelting, most likely iron or copper or some kind of metal. They're, and they're all basically the same thing. You know, they all 
get dumped somewhere and it's usually down a big hill into a lake and it looks just like uh, lava on fire as it's going down the hill and then when it hits the cold water of the lake it does this it turns into this and um, or it gets dumped as fill I guess there's even places where there's railroad tracks that they use it for fill along the railroad tracks I would love to find a place like that I have not yet found any all the Leland blues or Frankfurt greens or whatever you want to call it. like this one's mostly gray um, mine are all found in lakes in uh, both Lake Superior and Lake Michigan and I did find some a few pieces in a river in Michigan um, some of them you can actually see a little bit of the metal like on this one dead center you'll see that kind of rusty look that some of the metal is still stuck in there I've actually found some that had like a real shiny uh, almost look like silver inside of it but probably wasn't but I mean you can just see how beautiful they are and why I love collecting them um, someday I'll be selling some of my collection um, I really have way too many and yes I'm still collecting <laughs> so I don't know I did like I said I did polish some and I'm gonna polish more that's why I had these out. This is just one coffee can. Uh, it's one of those extra large coffee cans um, of these, you know, slate glass. But I have several of those. Um, so I need to go through them all. I want to pick out some of the best, the smoothest ones that I can uh, tumble. Uh, they don't get a really super duper good shine. I mean, they do get a pretty good shine in the tumbler. You got to make sure you use a lot of rock media because they will break. Um, not really. I shouldn't say that. I've only had one or two break on me. I shouldn't say that. Um, and sometimes if there's big holes like this one has, your rock media will get stuck in those holes. But these are not deep enough to worry about. Like look at this beauty right here. I just realized I'm not showing very much of the green ones. Um, the green ones aren't as swirly, I want to say, as the blue and white ones and the gray and white ones. But they're very pretty. Like Here's a swirly one, but you don't find them very often like this. This is a really pretty one. I guess I'll probably tumble this one if it's fairly smooth on both sides. Nope, we got some. Eh, it might work out. It's a pretty one. I should try anyway. I've never even tumbled the green ones yet. I have only tumbled the blue, the blue and the gray. Oh my gosh, I so remember finding this one. <laughs> it was a couple years back. You see that brown spot there? That is some of the iron that's still in the glass leg, which is kind of cool, I guess. When you get the white mixed with the green, it's really pretty. I. I like this little one. There's another little green. I'm basically going to show you some green ones now. There's a lot of green. Here's a kind of greeny gray. <laughs> I like the variety of all the colors. Now this green is more kind of limey green. Um, it has some, I don't know what that stuff is, but usually I don't keep them when that's on there, but this side so pretty just had to keep it and this one was really cool I remember finding this because it has the blue gray in with the green I thought that was really neat to see two colored one we got the green and we got the grayish blue we got the stripes Ooh, it's really pretty this is a really pretty one Ooh, this next one is swirly green. Oh, it's a pretty one. I'm going to tumble that one for sure. I love this one. This green one here is larger than most of the others I have been showing you. It's almost too big for the tumbler, but we'll see. I like to tumble that one. This one is really swiggly. 
different looking. Here's a little tiny one. Beautiful. Here's a multi. Oh, my kitty. She is an Angora and her fur is so long and thick that, yeah, we can't even see her eyes hardly. I have to comb her hair back to make her eyes pop out. <laughs> Here's a multicolored one anyway. And uh, it's a pretty one. This one's got some big crater holes in them. In it, kind of has that Mars look to it <laughs> with the crater holes. It's a pretty one though. I like this one too, pretty much. It's got a weird knob on the end, but some are really strangely shaped, like this one really is. And it's kind of like weird polka dotty on the inside. I don't know, sometimes you just get them like that. Now this one's a great one for tumbling. It's pretty smooth. I'm definitely tumbling that one. This one is very pretty. I'll probably tumble it even though it does have some of the ick on the right side and a little bit of iron was showing. Now these are ones that I have tumbled in the past. I got them in a little jar. You can see some of those little turquoise um, ones in here what they call Leland Blues. That one right there is probably my favorite in the middle there with the baby blue and there's some more here and there showing up of the turquoisey blue ones. I have a lot more though. Here's some more. That's kind of like the color, the turquoise is kind of like what they find in Leland, Michigan. But anyway, thanks for coming and watching all of my and seeing all of my not all of them either, my sleigh glass. Bye now.